My name is Jared Fearing. I'm 34 years old, and for the last 16 years of my life, I've done nothing but prepare for a career as a professional mixed martial arts fighter. And I did it. I made it to the professional level. But three fights in, the COVID lockdowns happened. And I just keep getting older, and now it hasn't happened the way that I wanted it to happen. And I'm left with nothing. You know, in movies and video games and books, our heroes always go through great conflict to get to who they are at the end of those stories. And that usually means failing a lot. <laughs> and I know I sure have. And you gotta be honest, we love to see people fail. So what the hell are we doing here? No, not middling in the limbo of my early 30s, here at the Everyday Kitchen, a donut staple in my city to meet one of my best friends, former training partner, and in fact, the executive producer on this pilot, Scott Bouchard. We're here to reflect on our careers as fighters, what went wrong, and uh, perhaps more optimistically, what went right. Let's go. Hey, buddy. The, the beard's big. Um, you know, there's a there's a thing in Viking culture where when they, they fail in battle, they just have to let it grow and grow, and they, they can't cut it until they win again. So when are you... I made that it? up. I made that oh, up. Right. I was like, total if lie. If that's the thing, I'm like, <laughs> when do you cut it? No, total lie. Um, you know, I, I quit coaching on December 23rd of 2022. Mm -hmm. And so it's been a few months now, and right when that happened, I was just like, I, I was thinking I needed to do something that I want to, I want to treat it almost like a fight camp where, you know, you, for people that don't know, when fighters have a fight camp, sometimes they'll grow a fight beard. Uh, think of Rocky IV, like mm -hmm. they'll actually grow it out, and I just wanted to keep growing it until I got to the stage where I was satisfied with what I was doing in my life. And okay that became this project and I wanted to get this done and make this move forward because I wasn't doing anything that I was happy with at that time. Yeah, so the beard represents that. So you're gonna cut it off when you feel that success is coming. When, when I feel like I'm satisfied with how my life is moving in the right direction Interesting. Now. Yeah. What if it gets down to here? It's like, it, it's like you're a tree, like the, the rings and a tree. Yeah, yeah. You know? if, if it gets too long, I think I just have to jump off a cliff at that point. <laughs> at this point, yeah. At that yeah. point, you can- Right now we're it, doing right? okay. We're yeah. doing all right. So Scott was one of my main training partners uh, before COVID happened. So COVID basically decimated our entire team. You know, we had one of yeah. the hottest up and coming amateur fight teams in Canada, really. We had a really good team and people were competing all the time at the amateur level and me at the pro level. And we had a couple other pros, but it was really COVID that kind of, kind of killed the team. Yeah. I mean, you got to be in the gym training. You can't really, it's not like typical workouts. Like you got to be honing your skills and, and think when you don't have the gym or the outlet that's you get pretty tough <laughs> you know you got to be showing up to the practices to get the fight right mm -hmm. yeah. and it was it was so crushing for so many people on our team yeah. where all of a sudden it's like you might not be able to compete for another year two years three years we had no timeline with how things were going to return are you satisfied with the competition that you've had um so i come from like a very small town mm -hmm. and like where you can't you can't find any training gyms like within a couple hours so i'm always going to be proud of like where i like where my career 
came from and like where it started because I don't I don't think anybody's done what I've done from my town. I don't think I just think it's one of those things that I'm known for that back home. Everybody knows it, and I think it's kind of cool to be like that guy who got to compete in MMA. And stuff. Absolutely. So I mean, I was always with just the one fight in boxing, like when I started, and then to like take the time off and go to kickboxing and do that, and then MMA, and it was just really cool. Uh, I don't think I'm done. Though. I think I'm done with MMA. Yeah. But I think Muay Thai. I'm I I'm in talks right now to compete. That, that's pretty exciting because I haven't done Muay Thai yet. Are you, are, what's going on with you? Are you finished with fighting? So, I'm 34, and the, the juice has to be worth the squeeze, so to speak, right? <laughs> you know? I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna risk my health and longevity at this stage for a few thousand dollars. True. Martial arts doesn't really leave you. I, find, like, I feel like as long as I can do it and I'm healthy, I always will. Like, what are your thoughts on it? Like, do you... Are you, you're always going to train. What's the training? Like, what's your motivation behind you it? You know, I'm always going to train and uh, uh, because I like it, first and foremost, yeah. as opposed to other types of fitness, um, like strength and conditioning, I enjoy to a degree, but it's so much harder for me to be motivated doing that. And uh, despite the fact that we have donuts at the table, yeah. <laughs> this is not the shape that I'm happy with. I, I want to be closer to fight shape it's i've let i've let the layoff get to me mm -hmm. you're behind a camera so you can always like cgi like a top <laughs> back on yourself it's just, the worst the just bronze <laughs> tan <laughs> you know it's always great talking with my friend scott but i don't know that that's the clarity that i was looking for when it comes to my career and future so I'm going to Expedition Jiu-Jitsu to train with one of my oldest training partners and friends, Shane Lander. Mm -hmm.